I'm Stephanie from Oh Your Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Welcome back to the final chapter, the continuation, the, I don't, what else can we call this? Final chapter, continuation, the uh, second act, the um, final episode of the Cascade Epic. It is an epic tutorial. Um, this was a long one. So the first tutorial, if you missed that, make sure to check out the beginning. Uh, I think we talked for about a good 20 minutes just about the greenery. <laughs> yep. Yep, that happened. That totally happened. But you can never tell me ever again that you have no idea what greenery to pick for a bouquet like this. Uh, we go through it in-depthly. Is that a word? It is today. Uh, so take a look at that one. I'll make sure to link it in the description. I promise I will. I always forget, but this time I will not forget to link the first chapter, the first video, the beginning of the cascade, all the words, all of those words. So now, now we're going to go back to North Carolina into that very tiny, hot, horribly lit room. I'm so sorry about the lighting, you guys. It's driving me crazy, but there's nothing I can do. You, you do what you gotta do with the space that you got. So we were in the warehouse in North Carolina. There is no light, like there was fluorescent lights. God bless it. <laughs> so <laughs> That's what we were working with. Um, we're going to jump back there with uh, the lovely, wonderful Maggie number two. Uh, and we're going to wrap up this tutorial. We're going to finish this ca cascade. Also, I think it's hilarious. By the end, we did not measure them. But I think you'll be able to tell by the end. Maggie's grew a lot more than what she originally intended. We do like to make extra, extra bouquets. I kept mine within the size that I had intended. And Maggie's kept growing like a chia pet. <laughs> gonna kill me. Anywho, now I'm rambling. I'll stop now. Let's get back to North Carolina, shall we? So we've gone through two different types of greenery and Stephanie is now starting to add her colorful textured, uh, sorry, not textured, her um, color change eucalyptus. And this is the point where I actually, since my flowers are all gonna be raw, I do wanna add in a bit of a different color, like a, a pop of blush pink. So I am going to be using these blush pink eucalyptus. Now another thing that's great about these is as you can see from the side angle and the front angle, um, there are gaps. Like there's some filler up here, but there are some big holes and that's just gonna happen when you're building your cascade. You can fill it with all different bits, but if you do have something that's like a full, you know, round leaf, um, this is when you're going to want to start to put it in so that you're not completely leaving no room for those to fit in. So for this, once again, like we did with um, the ficus and with the seeded eucalyptus, I'm just going to cut each of these into their own little section. I'm going to keep these two on this one stem and I'm going to cut it pretty long because I want to see it extend through the bottom. When you're bringing in the colorful bits, the biggest piece you want to remember is that balance. You want to make sure that it's spread throughout, that you're not just having just pink at the bottom and nothing up top, or that you're not just focusing all of the color on top and you're not carrying it through the bottom. You want to make sure that, you know, it carries through. So we're just going to do what we've been doing and kind of put it in there. I also like to have, when I'm bringing in color or textures or anything that's, that's kind of an accent piece, um, I like to go a little asymmetrical with it. So this one I'm not having go straight down the center. I want it to be a little bit off to the side. And again, because these are artificial um, wire stems, wire bits, you're going to be able to bend them at will, <laughs> however you'd like to have them here in there. Yes. Have your evil genius. Have your evil genius moment. Exactly. Now, because I've got one going this way and one coming up this way, 
I want to make sure this other one is going to go in the other spot. Um, or sorry, so that there is still forming these triangles. We don't just do it with flowers. We also want to make sure anything that's going to stand out in your cascade is going to follow that rule of the triangle. And we're focusing on just where there are gaps. Now, when I mentioned earlier about some fillers that would look a little different if you cut them from here, this is one of them because it kind of tapers down into a point. So you'll want to cut it from the back as opposed to cutting the edge off. I will definitely say keep like pulling it back and looking mm -hmm. and seeing where it's not balancing and then come back super, in. Super duper important. If it's real close to your nose, you're not really going to be able to see the full picture of it. Right. Especially if you're going extra extra and you're building I don't know what you're talking about. a huge cascade. Um, if you want to go longer than a filler stem allows, one, try and find fillers like this, like this blush eucalyptus that is a very long stem. So you can go, I mean, you could probably build like a four oh. foot, a four foot cascade from yeah. this. But if you're unable to find stuff like that, okay. that's when I would incorporate like a hanging greenery and you can mm -hmm. even put it in the bouquet holder or attach it to the yeah. bouquet holder so that you get that long depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, on, on flowers and stuff, if you're trying to go down that far, we'll talk about this. I'm sorry. No, I didn't know if I dropped something. Oh, we'll okay. talk about this when we're adding in the flowers, but you know, you can glue flowers directly to your greenery. Yeah, I think I, I've actually done that. I do it potentially. I, I do it all the time. Tutorial. It like saves you. There's no reason why you can't do that. Right. As you can see, this is like being incorporated in. So like, I'm okay to move some of the seeded eucalyptus over or the ficus over. You don't, you want it to be a pop, but you don't necessarily want it to look like it's out of place. Um, so have, making sure everything's kind of like working together as opposed to like, again, that seven layer yeah. dip that yeah, yeah. is not. I will away. show you guys something in the back because like I said, you're going to hide all of that floral tape, but right now it's sticking out a little bit. But I wanted this one piece in particular to go down lower, and if I put it in the front, you're going to see that. Like, I'm going to have to do a lot more work yep. to cover it up. So what I did instead, I'm just going to bring this on up. So what I did instead is the wire itself started here. You can see that lovely vinyl tape, but then I just maneuvered that to then come out front a little bit so it's peekabooing through. So it's still there, it's just now you go from the back end instead of going straight into the um, the foam that way. So that's where we're at. I decided I wanted to bring a little bit down to the other side. Really like that pink. See? She doubted me. I did not doubt you. She slightly sad that I could she <laughs> blush eucalyptus because there are generally three stems on it um, I am using more of this that like I will be using probably all three or at least two and a half of these in here um, and that's something to notice you know like a big full bundle of greenery like you're gonna get a little bit more out of but these are great as accents and you're not gonna be using quite exactly exactly Seeing where it's starting to need some more balance, fill in those gaps, probably need something right up here and or here. So this one, because I see three spots that I want it to, instead of just cutting at the base of this one that has the two, and because I need a smaller piece, I'm going to cut each of those individually as well. There's greenery and filler and flying in front of their faces. Oh, oh, another note. If you're working on it and you're starting to get overwhelmed or things aren't necessarily coming to shape the way you want, it's okay to set it down mm -hmm. and walk away and come back with fresh eyes. It's just like anything else. Like, yep. if it's starting to frustrate you, it's just going to continue to if you like if you're at a breaking point. So just it's not going anywhere. Just step back. Go, go do something else for a little bit and come back to it and either adjust or just keep on plugging through. Keep on keeping on. 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 Keep on keeping on
keep on keeping on. I think I'm gonna end up switching this out because once we start adding flowers, yeah, it's probably yeah. gonna get hidden. Um, so I'm gonna move it to the front, basically, center. Um, but now I'm going to start adding the greenery color change that Stephanie did. All right, so. you do that. We're, we're gonna speed this up for right now. She's gonna start adding yep. that. You're really gonna see it really transform after this point too, I think, because that mid-tone is really gonna mm -hmm. pull a lot of it together. Um, so we'll speed this up, and then we'll head on to the next filler that we're gonna both be using at the same time in just a minute. We have, we're starting to see some fullness coming in. One thing I wanted to point out is the way you build it, you're kind of going at different angles, but the center is gonna is gonna stay pretty open. Like you're gonna fill in, which is terrifying. Which is very, very scary, but you're kind of like building out in, and so that center being open, is like that's one of, okay. That's it's one normal. of the last things that's gonna It's one up. of the last things, and it also like, Foam bits that you see now, like as we still have a couple more layers to go. Now, would you say though, when you're looking, like as you're holding it, say you're the, the uh -huh. bride, you may see some little pieces maybe sticking through, but for the most part, nobody else is gonna see that. So you can, but you can also come in and that's when you're gonna start to fill in like some more ficus or some more, stuff. like, okay, yeah. okay. You'll, right. you'll see as so we keep going. All right, on to the next. On to the next. So now we are going to be adding in our textured greenery. Um, we are ambitious <laughs> and decided that we wanted three yeah. different to be in. But you can just do one, you can do two, you could do seven. Um, oh boy. <laughs> I've done it before. It's <laughs> fun. Um, but the three that we are using, so we have our Italian Ruscus. Um, which I'm gonna start with first. I think yeah, Stephanie too. was planning on doing that too. We have our angel vine. So this is more of like a angle. Yeah. And this is more of like a round texture. Um, and you can see the difference in greens. This is a little bit darker. This is more of the medium tones. Um, and then the last one is our Dusty Miller tips. Yeah, I guess because like just the the real like. Because um, so the other ones are going to be much more. They're not going to have these holes in it. It's, it's like a same shape but very dense. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so normally I would say start with the ones that are going to fill more space, um, which would be these Dusty Miller spots because they are open. Right. You know, there's more like frills in here but they are going to take up more space than like say these little yeah, those are much more narrows yeah. um but i feel if you want to be adventurous go I for feel like those need to for me i want to put those in for stephanie she wants you know what yeah we'll do that i'll put them in first you put them in last yeah, yeah, yeah. and this you again you're just going to want that balance you're going to want to make sure it's throughout but you can ha add as much as or, or as little as you want the idea right. is just to like have some moments of intrigue, some moments of um, intrigue, intrigue. Yeah. Um, some moments that are, you know, very interesting in your bouquet. So again, as much or as little as you want, just like with the other fillers, you're going to want to like measure and then use your wire clippers to cut into place. And Stephanie's already started, so I'm going to join her. And for me, when I'm bringing in that texture, I like to start at the bottom, but also at the top, just to like, again, we're gonna have flowers in here and throughout, so making sure like the outer edges are getting those bits. I am gonna put some in the center too, so they peek out through the in-between flowers and things, 
Um, but I really want to, I kind of always want to be like setting my boundaries and yeah. making sure to always kind of bring boundaries. things to the edge. So one thing I also want to point out, where you have your connection points, if you're doing filler that's long on a stem um, and you have either a glue dot or a, like a um, that vinyl tape, you're gonna wanna make sure to like bring it behind or put something over so like this connection point isn't as visible from the front. Again, we still have more things to add so that will be covered, um, but be aware of those of those things happening. You're gonna say, be aggressive, be, be aggressive. <laughs> I mean, I can do the whole cheer. You can be aggressive, but it's how I learned how to spell aggressive. <laughs> Finesse. Mumble Finesse. under my breath. P-E-A-G-G-O-E-S-S-I-V-E, aggressive. Hey, hey. Well, at least we know you got it. <laughs> she still got it, ladies and gentlemen. Weirdest thing, but stay in my brain for the rest of my life. <laughs> All right, so I, right now, have a lot of it focused in here. I want to make sure that I'm also getting some, bring it, bring it a little bit to the back. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a lot of flow, like, here. But it's looking kind of sparse. It's almost like I have a spotlight of it right in that center part. And so I want to make sure that I'm moving it throughout and not just again in that one focal spot. Right. I'm going a little bit longer with each one that I'm doing. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. It's just, <laughs> it's it's just feeling like what I want want it to be. I want it to be a little wild and mm -hmm. have some of those little wispies on the end. still seeing a hole and I think the only way for me to be able to fill it is to go back to one of our leafy greens yeah. and so I am going to grab some more of the seeded eucalyptus um, and just see if we can't get that where you're happy with them. Do you see it? Do you see that hole? There. There. Look at there that. Is. Look at that. And so we're just going to start going back a to... Little, slight one right there. Yeah. And they're they're gonna happen. Yeah. Like as you're adding things. Yeah, mine is like right there. So I'm also gonna push yeah, these guys up, up to like fluff it out and make it like really kind of see how round that is now? That should, fingers crossed, do the trick. We are now back oh, in the Oh yeah, there it is. There okay. it is. But now that I've done that and added those big leafies over top of some of the textured, I mean, they're still peeking through, but now I wanna go back and do another layer of the textured to make sure that that is coming through a-okay. Now I'm finding that because I'm, as I'm adding the other colors, or sorry, the other greens in, I'm kind of losing where I wanted my pink to stand out, so I'm probably gonna add some more pink in here just to balance that out. But I'm gonna do that after I've added all of my textured fillers 
again to make sure because make sure that nothing is covering it up. You do want to add it in on that third step though, the, whatever your colored like bigger fillers are, um, so that they are incorporated and they don't look like they're just sitting on top. But if you want a couple pieces that are sitting on top, then you can add them, you know, later or like move Maybe them around. Like this one I just I could pull forward, but it's just not it's the exact length I would want it to be. I want to bring it down all the way to the bottom. When you're wrapping things um, with tape, the tape is not gonna go through the foam. So that's gonna be kind of your stopping point, no matter how yeah. long or short you so cut try not the stem. To too, too yeah, long. so, you know, if that happens and you're like, I want it shorter, either you cut the end um, of your filler, but you wanna make sure it works, or um, just make your pieces much smaller. Like, take each one off yeah. and add it. The ones, because we have two different types. Yeah. So we have some that are individually stemmed. Yeah. And then we have some that are Clumpy is an awful, awful word, but yeah. bigger bundles there of things, right? right? So the bigger bundles, you put in now. I usually put in now, and then Little these guys, guys will be wait. after, because that then you'll see. Okay. Um, but when I do it before the flowers, I usually concentrate mm -hmm. on this area and, and, up. and up. this area. Because the middle is, is where, where the flowers those. are going to go, and that's when you're going to where you're going to want to put the individual stem. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So I'm going to get started with that while she keeps working on her lovely wispies. Okay, here's a little tutorial within the tutorial. If you're gonna use floral tape, you need to stretch it to activate it. That's what gets it all tacky, and once you start wrapping it on top of each other, it starts to stick to each other. Um, but if you do not pull it to activate it, it's not gonna work for you. It's just gonna make you wanna cry. So now that is all set to go. And the difference between using vinyl versus like a floral tape is really personal preference. Mm -hmm. So if you really enjoy floral tape when you're making stuff, then by all means, please use it. I have one left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where are we? Now I'm feeling pretty good. Where are we going to live? It's not going to live anywhere just yet. I think one more time I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, uh oh I found a dusty mess. See, me too! So on my top, I have there and there. And then on the bottom, it's inverted instead. I've got my longest piece over here and then two there. So you actually have triangles going on throughout the entire piece. So you could also take a triangle and maybe put a piece over in this area instead and then do another one there. And then you have triangles basically throughout the whole thing and it makes them super, super happy. There we go. I've added my pink at the bottom. Perfect. Now, I don't think you can tell. You can tell from the back. 
But see how this piece is off to the side. Um, I know some people like to have it curved one way or another. That's kind of where you start doing it. Is like, as you add pieces, you just yeah. kind of bend them out. Um, or if I wanted to, you could have it completely straight down. It's funny. I just like that little. Bending to the... Mine is because of the greenery does it automatically. Right, right, right. And I intentionally like, wanted to do that, that cute pink little to go. Kind of like a comma. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like a little, a little comma. A little kick of the kick of the leg. All right. All right, so now we are on to, you're gonna get your... I'm gonna get my whites in. All right. And I'm then, gonna, I'm gonna let you do that. Why don't I'm you show them the stem of flower? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. All right, we'll do that. Okay. You guys, so before we start putting in the flowers, I wanna show you how to stem a flower. It's super, super easy, but it does get asked very often. So with the wood flower, so we've already, so I'm using dyed ones. I actually am using a dyed assortment. Maggie's are all gonna be raw. All of the flowers are gonna have, you're gonna put it in the back. There are some, and I didn't take a, I didn't grab one with a little extra tail. They sometimes show up with a little bit of an extra piece of the sole of wood as they're creating it. So what you wanna do is you can just cut off so that there's a flat surface. It makes it a lot easier to stem it that way. But you do wanna be mindful, all of the flowers are put together with a couple pieces of string. Don't cut the string or you lose your flower. So this is how I like to do it. I am going to, what I like to say, pre-drill pre -drill a hole mm -hmm. in the back before I even get glue on because I am klutzy and I fumble. You're gonna use hot glue is my ideal. You can also use like Gorilla Glue or E6000. I wouldn't E6000 recommend it. E6000 is just gonna take a long time to dry. It takes a long time to dry. So the hot glue is instant satisfaction. That's all there is to it. Get a little bit of glue on the end of your wire. I like to use typically 18 gauge wire. You can go 20 gauge, it's gonna be a little bit bendier. If you get down to like 16, it's gonna be a little bit stiffer. 18 seems to be, 18 to 20. 18, yeah, that's, would you say 18? Yeah. Seems to be the, like kind of the happy spot that can be used for most projects. And there you have it. We're gonna grab all of our flowers and start getting them into our lovely bouquets. But do you hear her over there? She's still futzing. She's still futzing. <laughs> the time has come. It's flower time. So I'm gonna let Maggie, we're gonna do two different kind of ways to do this um, because I'm not gonna do a focal flower where she is. Yeah. And also I have a whole bunch of dyed flowers, but the dyed flowers don't all match. And that's because of the type of assortment I'm using. Um, it's all, of, well, they don't colors match kind of. colors, but the, the styles. flower styles are different. They're not all the same flowers where she's right. using um, set different styles of flowers. Right. All right. Enough of me talking. You That's do your thing. You're good. Um, so I have flowers in all different sizes. This one is my largest. I think it's a four and a half um, inch blanch. And then I've got a couple three inch varieties, um, two inch and then some itty bitty one inches. Yeah, which uh, we've already talked about most of that, I think. What was that? We talked about all of right, that. Right, right, right. Yep. So you can cut that <laughs> <laughs> But the way I like to do it is, I always like to have one large focal flower. Um, and the reason for it is I just think it's, I like to use the word intrigue, and interest to the eye. Like it, it pulls you into one spot, and then you kind of flow through the rest of the bouquet. It's your starting point. It's your starting point. Um, and, but the thing is, I never want to put a focal flower dead center. Correct. Um, Cause to me, then your eye like kind of plays tricks and that's the only spot you're like looking at. And almost you take from your face and you go to, so you go from the bride's face to the flower and then go down the Exactly, the yeah. exactly. Um, and so, uh, I usually like to put it in, if I'm the bride, looking down my right angle. Mm -hmm. um, you can do it on the left. For some reason in my brain, it's like the right and you're okay. reading a book. And it goes down to where You're reading tail. a book down yeah. to the tail. Um, and I think that's also why I usually curve Probably. to the right as well. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna find your spot. There will be holes and that's where the flowers are gonna go. Um, cut down your stem. You're gonna play a guessing game for a little bit. So probably cut it longer. Longer than, than you think you need. And then you can always shorten it up. But if you now I'm gonna look, much. so bring you over this way. And I kind of want it to sit 
right about here, but in, in there. And I think I can nestle it in right there. Now, disclaimer, for time's sake for us, we will not be gluing these flowers in. What I generally do is, this is the moment, I mean, they're all glued to the stems. This is the moment when I will find the spot, make sure it fits in there nicely, and then I will glue the end, the put, a good amount of, put a good amount of glue and onto the side of the stem that's going into the bouquet holder, and then I will lift it like this so it settles, and it'll spread on the foam among all the things that are shoved in there. So it gives you an extra protected layer. Yeah. I will say though, at the end of this, we we'll will be able to shake our bouquets and nothing's going to move. Um, so Should, hopefully nothing moves, most likely. I think it'll, it'll be good. I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be just in case. case. But just in case. The, <laughs> the grid pattern really works. But again, an added layer of, of protection. protection and, yeah. and security is to glue during this step. Again, we've been here a long time already, yeah. so we're gonna keep moving forward. Now, as for the next steps, I'm going to start by adding in my largest flowers in triangles, and I'm gonna do that with everything. So I'm gonna start with, you know, my Louise's and do three of those in a triangle. Any of the larger flowers, the three inch, I'm concentrating in the top two thirds. I don't want a big flower to be in the bottom third because it's gonna look off. Um, and so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna work my way kind of outward to the smaller flower. So you can have like a one inch over here and over here and all the way at the bottom. But that's just kind of how we're gonna do is start with the larger ones, they take up the most room. Yep. So while you have kind of a blank canvas, you wanna do that. Also, I wouldn't pack them in too tightly. You've just done a ton of work on your greenery base. And yeah. you know, you want this to show through. It's kind of a more organic look when there's the different bits and bobs sticking out. That also means at the end, you're gonna have less that you're gonna have to add into it to again, fill that space and make right. sure the flowers are separated. We're not looking for a cauliflower no. bed. Um, we want it to. We don't be... want a wall of flowers. We exactly. want it to work together with the, all of that work that you just did to build the, the exactly. base of the greenery. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to start adding my things in, and I think you can. And your suggestion for me on this one, because yes. we're using different style flowers, but all of like there's a similar color story going on. So take the we were talking about. I think the. What did you, want? What did you think? Frida's, but then a ranunculus. Like whatever your largest flower is in each of the colors. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Okay, so I'm Except gonna Except for that. the cream, because those are smaller, so those can all fill in. All right, so I'm gonna grab my Frida's first. And so I'm using the same style flower, but they're all gonna be different colors. And I'm gonna do triangles with that. And then the same with, I've got three of my, well, actually more than three, but we'll do these and I'll, break those up too into triangles for the ranunculus right. and keep doing it that way. That's and again, perfect. it's just a matter of the largest flowers are gonna take the most room and you can add in the smaller flowers to kind of complete the triangle or complete that area right. as you do it. So, all right, we're gonna speed this up and we're gonna just start adding in our flowers.
suggest. We suggest. Doing this in sessions. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe have a fan going. Yeah. Maybe like. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna stop. Some AC. <gasps> Flowers right. have been added. Flowers are in. So we have the last part of this is to take any of the last little bits of filler, pop those in. I think. Megan and I discussed off camera. We're probably not going to add in the preserved just because I'm I'm worried with the size of my handle and the amount of or lack thereof of room that I'm going to just be struggling with this. And for mine, I think it's a little bit yeah. too. Oh, oh it well. looks cute. Oh! <laughs> All right. We're just going to start adding in our little oh, bits. This it does it look doesn't really look good with yours too. Okay. This is what happens. So, when you pull things that look really good together, you can just keep adding, but you find your own comfort level as to like how much you want to add. We are going to kind of rush through and add these little bits. The only thing I want to say is when you're doing this, you want to be very careful of the flowers. Um, obviously, they are delicate, so as you're adding things, you want to make sure that you are being mindful of where they are so you're not like crunching anything and then you have to switch out a flower or something like that. But it is not the end of the world if you do need to switch out a flower. Yeah. It's all possible. So, all right, we're going to we just go. dive into this. We'll probably speed this up. Uh, there might be some indecision, or like we're going to change our minds and move stuff around. But for the most part, I actually like this red now that I'm cutting. Like it just, it's, that's the perfect, that's the color. Yeah. That's the yeah. color you needed. Yeah. It pulls everything together. Cause mm -hmm. uh, disclosure off camera, I wasn't fully in love with this, but this little end piece is actually bringing it all together for me. Okay. Now that we talking, we're going to go through this. We've talked enough during this tutorial. So we we're going to speed this up, listen to some pretty music, and we'll get these done. Um, I also want to point out that uh, the process of making one of these is it's lengthy. It's so. not a short amount of time. No, it takes a while. Um, so don't expect if you're starting one that it's gonna just you'll be able to get it done even probably in a day, depending on if you've never made one before. Like it might take a little while. Right, right. And you might I would you know buy two bouquet holders because mm -hmm. um, you're likely gonna mess up. The first one I did was a disaster. Yeah, we're so talking like three bucks. Get get your Yeah. Get yourself an extra. That's and give good. yourself a grace. Yes. Like this is this will be frustrating at points. Trust the process. Go through everything. If you still don't like it then you can take it out it and then restart. I mean yourself. the worst case is you have to restem restem some things, which right. all of this is restemmable as mm -hmm. well. Except for like, well, you can always add some length to it too. Yeah. Um, I'd also like to point out, I went through two drinks for this, <laughs> for this, for this lovely tutorial. I just got dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for joining. Thank you the for having me on. Lovely Maggie number two. Again, Maggie number two is here. She's part of the Oh Your Lovely team. She handles mostly wholesale. I mean, she also makes beautiful bouquets as well, but she handles our wholesale side of business. And yes, we do offer wholesale. So if you are in the floral type industry, you have a registered business, all that fun stuff, hit her up. Uh, the website is solowoodflowerswholesale.com and you can apply right there. So yay, you're welcome. <laughs> so let's let's do all the, the lovely YouTube things, shall we? We shall. All right. If you're new around here, loving these videos, can't get enough, want to know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and ring, oh wait, we'll do it that way, you do it there, no, right here, go right in the middle, right there, right in that, there we go, ring that bell <laughs> to find out about the high
150 style solo wood flowers, along with craft supplies and greenery. Go to ohyourlovely.com, but that's not all. If you're new around here, want to give the flowers or the greenery or the craft supplies a try, make sure to use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go eat my lunch. She's gotta book it out of here. I leave yep. North Carolina tomorrow, so we're wrapping this up. I'm so glad again that you could be here and we could do this together. So thank Cheers. you for that. Cheers. 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 Oh, not hard. Not hard. <laughs> All that work, and I like ship a flower over a piece. All right, you guys, we'll see you next time for another tutorial. I'm Stephanie. And I'm Maggie number two. And you, my friends, are absolutely, absolutely lovely. Bye, guys. <laughs>